Hey everyone, have you ever stumbled upon a silvery, squiggly insect skittering across your kitchen floor in the middle of the night? I'm guessing it made you jump. What you saw was probably a silverfish. But no worries, today we're going to dive into the world of DIY to show you just how to get rid of silverfish. But first, what are the things you'll need to complete this task? For the full list and where to get them, check the description and pinned comment below. Now that you have all your tools and materials ready, let's get into it. Get rid of it! Now, what on earth are silverfish? According to a study from the University of California's Integrated Pest Management Program, silverfish are nocturnal insects known for their quick movements and silvery scales. Just imagine a tiny, slim, silver-colored fish, but on land. Weird, right? So, why should you kick these silver sprinters out? Besides their uninvited presence, silverfish are notorious for their destructive feeding habits. If left unchecked, they can ruin books, wallpapers, and even clothing. That's a price no one wants to pay. So how do you get rid of them? Step 1. Deprive them of their comfort zone. Silverfish love damp, moist places. Reducing humidity is key to making your home less attractive to them. You could use a dehumidifier or moisture absorbers to achieve this. Just like when you're camping and you keep your food sealed up so bears won't sniff it out. Same logic. Step 2. Bust out your vacuum cleaner. Remember, cleanliness is next to, well, a silverfish-free home. Regular vacuuming will not only clean up food crumbs, but also vacuum up any silverfish eggs. Step 3. Here's where the diatomaceous earth comes into play. It's a soft, crumbly, porous sedimentary deposit formed from the fossil remains of diatoms. According to research from the National Pesticide Information Center, it's a low-risk pesticide to humans but lethal to insects. Just sprinkle it in the areas where you've seen silverfish. It's kind of like laying down a layer of broken glass for them to walk over. Ouch! And there you have it, folks. Three simple steps on how to get rid of silverfish. Remember, patience is key here. Keep repeating the process until you don't see any more silver invaders. Let us know how it works out for you. Now, if you found this video helpful, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe and share with your friends who might be dealing with a silverfish situation. Don't forget to drop your comments below. We love hearing from you. Alright, we're signing off for now. Stay silverfish free and see you next time.